The Audi FAS Alpine Ski Racing World Cup Tour resumes in California, USA, and the resort of Palisades Tahoe, hosting World Cup competition for the first time since 2017, when Schifrin did the double on the women's tour, and the men have not raced here since 1969. First up, it's Giant Slalom 7 of 10 for the 2023 campaign. And Marco Schwarz, brimming with confidence after two medals at the recent World Championships, a silver and alpine combined, and a bronze in Giant Slalom, puts down a second-run flyer that no one was to better. Good to see Rasmus Vindingstad of the Norwegian team return to form. We saw him ski brilliantly in the season opener in Solden back in October, where he took fifth position. But here on the Red Dog race piece to Palisades Tahoe, Vindingstad records his first podium of the 2023 tour. With the top 30 going in reverse order, the piece conditions were getting rougher and tougher for the faster racers from the first leg. Pantro, second quickest from the first leg, he too brimming with confidence after taking gold and bronze at the World Championships, struggles in the closeout and drops from second to sixth position. And the fastest man from the first run, Marco Odomat. Fresh off the back of World Championship gold in downhill and giant slalom. And the defending World Cup champion is unable to take yet another victory on the tour. But it's the consistency now that Odomat needs to draw upon to defend all of his titles. Second position, 80 points. It's a good score for Marco Odomat. But the celebrations go to the Austrian. Marco Schwarz with his fourth World Cup win and his very first in giant slalom. It's a well-deserved victory for Marco Schwarz, one of the hardest working skiers on the World Cup Tour, racing in as many disciplines as he possibly can. Delighted to beat Odomat and the Norwegian in third. Day two in Palisades Tahoe and a huge snowstorm hits the Sierra Mountains of California, a USA. It's going to be a difficult penultimate slalom of the men's World Cup Tour. Albert Popov with a brilliant second run charge. Not since 1980 in Lengriche, Germany, has a Bulgarian racer won on the World Cup and Popov records his first career podium with that second leg charge. Alexander Steen Olsen, 21-year-old Norwegian racer, finds the form of his career. The results have been building and they've been coming slowly but surely. And Steen Olsen here, who's knocking on the door in both giant slalom and slalom, flies as he gets a beautiful feel for these tough snow conditions and he goes top of the table. AJ Guinness is another skier finding form in the mid and latter part of the tour. Second in the last World Cup in Chamonix and a silver medalist at the World Championships. AJ Guinness again puts down a flying performance. One one hundredth quicker than Steen Olsen. But video analysis shows that the Greek racer straddled through the undergate and a disqualification is imminent. Timon Haugen again showing how the form of the Norwegian team seems to be rising in the closing competitions of the season. Records his first podium of the season, the second of his career, going into runner-up position. And the fastest man from the first leg, the Olympic slalom champion, Clement Noel, struggles with the snowstorm and the bumpy terrain as the last man on the Red Dog piece. Clement holds on after a few errors in the closeout to take third position, a spot on the podium. It's huge disappointment for AJ Guinness. The Greek Ski Federation will have to wait for their first World Cup win. And it's celebrations for Alexander Steen Olsen at 21 years of age, winning his first World Cup race, a 1-2 for Norway, with Popov and Noel sharing third position. It's uh, so unbelievable and yeah, with the... I just don't know what to say, it's so crazy. <laughs> Mathematically, any one of the top four skiers in the slalom standings can take the Crystal Globe in this discipline for 2023. And in the overall standings, Marco Odomat is out clear. 386 ahead of Kilda, 592 
ahead of Christofferson. But it's a new, young, rising star that wins the slalom in Palisades Tahoe, the Norwegian Alexander Steen Olsen. The Men's World Cup Tour moves on to Aspen, Colorado. Two downhills and a Super G from the 3rd to the 5th of March. And if you want to see more detailed news and action, please join us at fis-ski.com for the last 10 races of the Audi FIS World Cup Racing Tour. <laughs>